madre. My name is Ben Silverman. I work for Onyx Enterprise Systems, and my main contributions are to the documentation team or the OpenStack Docs team. I uh, have been involved in Pike, finishing up uh, a lot of uh, separate tasks for the architecture guide. We've added updated information for storage, compute, and uh, network. We've also expanded uh, the network sections and the compute architecture sections. And the reason why this is important is because uh, the, the guides themselves are beyond the, document, the normal documentation. Uh, our, our great documentation uh, shows uh, API implementations, how to interact with the APIs, um, possibly command structures, but the guides go further. They show more of a planning uh, architecture, planning your operations, how to operate a cloud, how to administer a cloud, how to set up your security, and of course, how to make it highly available and resistant. Future work on these guides are going to continue uh, through the Pike release into Queens, adding more detail, more sections that have been uh, asked for from the uh, operator meetings and all of the uh, OpenStack user groups. I run the uh, OpenStack user group in Phoenix, Arizona, and there we have a lot of uh, operators that are asking for different features to be added to the architecture guide, uh, mostly around hardware selection and different use cases to be created and go along with the use cases that are in our uh, project navigator. That'll be the bulk of the work uh, for the guides, just continuing what we're doing and, and making it better. Uh, and from, for Pike, what we've completed is probably 90% of the goals uh, that we had for this year. So looking forward into the Queen's release, are you going to be focusing on anything particular in that cycle? In this cycle, what we'll be particularly focusing on, especially in the guides work, is those folks who have been working on the guides uh, will now uh, no longer have as many responsibilities in the projects, uh, working with the project documentation, because a lot of that has been now shifted to the project teams, freeing up some of the folks that are working on the guides to continue uh, creating content for the guides and curating the content that's there, bringing it up to current release and adding new features. Can you talk a little bit about why the documentation was moved more towards the project teams than having a uh, at, at a higher level. We found that the documentation team itself uh, was tasked more with uh, creating content for the individual projects uh, because the project teams were more concentrated on adding features and stability and had their, had their uh, staff tuned towards the actual uh, programmatic improvements within the projects. Since we've had a decrease in our staff of the documentation team, we figured it was in the best interest of the foundation and for users to shift that responsibility back onto the project teams since they are the subject matter experts and they can create the content. The documentation team will still be uh, a, a guide and tutors and mentors for those on the project teams to help them create the content and get it into the guides and into the documentation uh, in a consistent way. If folks want to get involved in the documentation effort, where do they find out about the, the, the tooling, how to do this, what needs done, and so on? If you, they go to uh, docs.openstack.org, um, there is a link to the uh, how-to called the, uh, the, contri the con uh, Contributor's Guide. Uh, you can click on there and it will uh, walk you through the process of the tooling that you'll need to uh, install on uh, your local laptop or your local instances that you're using to, cre to create content. It'll also walk you through the whole CICD uh, development uh, process and the tools that you'll need to be familiar with in order to commit code. Uh, it has recommendations not only for Windows but for Mac and Linux and also tells you a little bit more about the governance and also who's involved. Um, it'll, it'll also give you the names of our project team leads and some of the other team members uh, if you have questions you'd like to reach out. Now, as a, a user of OpenStack, if I see something in the documentation that, that needs to be addressed, changed, fixed, whatever, I'm a little confused now as to whether I go to the main docs team or if I go to the project team, or what do I, what do, I do at this point? Both in the documentation and in the guides, uh, there is a similar format. 
And on the screen, you'll see at the bottom, I believe it's the lower right, you'll see an image of a bug. It's a, it's a blue bug. Um, and all you have to do is click on that, put in the specifics for the bug that you're, you're reporting, whether it's grammatical, spelling, uh, content uh, missing, or, or incorrect content. It'll ask you a few questions, and that bug will be submitted to the correct team, whether it's a project team or whether it's a guides team. Uh, it'll land in their bug queue and be taken care of, and uh, it'll be reported back to you if you, if you choose. So, of course, if I'm asking a question about how to use or deploy OpenStack, that goes still to ask.openstack.org. Absolutely. The bug tracker or the, the bug feature inside the documentation uh, is, is used to report problems within documentation and within the content that we're curating. Uh, questions about operations or execution uh, or, or installing or deploying OpenStack, we'd appreciate if it, if it went over to, to ask.openstack.org. We do get those sometimes through the bugs, uh, bug feature, and we'll be glad to redirect you towards the correct source. I'm a writer, I've been a writer for many years, but I'm not a subject matter expert. In what way can I help with the documentation effort? Do I need to be an expert on the technology in order to help out with the documentation? No, you don't need to be an OpenStack expert. Uh, a lot of the folks on our team, they aren't SMEs. Uh, they're actually the, the, uh, the opposite, they're just technical writers. So they are tasked with mentoring and helping those SMEs either add content or curate content or correct content uh, from their own writing into the manuals. Uh, their job really is to organize and uh, kind of uh, arrange and uh, syntactically get the documentation in a format that is consumable by everyone. Their job is to technically make sure that the docs are consistent and well written. Where does discussion of the documentation effort happen? Is, there a, is it on the main dev list or is it a separate mailing list? Uh, we have a, our own mailing list called OpenStack Docs, and uh, it's uh, located at the same uh, list of, of mailing lists on the OpenStack.org site uh, as, as all the other different lists. Um, we hold our meetings and um, we do all of our, uh, our planning uh, all out in the open, uh, just like any other project team. Uh, we write our docs as code, so we follow the same four opens as the, pro as the software project teams. Thank you.